Hi folks, this is Jason. Uh, I hope you're okay. Um, I've got a, a sad announcement to to give you. Um, I've decided um, to step down from Atheist Examined, and I'm not going to be making any videos anymore. The reason is because of No Plum 99, an atheist who has continually stepped across the line and in the end I've just had enough um, so I won't be making any more videos on atheism on YouTube because of No Plum 99 and it's as simple as that I will go on my other channels and I will do preaching videos but I'm not going to be making any more videos on atheism again <coughs> um, not just because of the intimidation from other atheists not just because of uh, the way some are beginning to come and treat me now which is not which is not very nice but because of the lack of integrity and the intellectual intimidation that people like No Plum 99 have continued to do to me over the last two years and I can't take it anymore I just can't cope with it I just think it's unjust I think it's unfair and I just feel that uh, you've crossed the line, no plum 99, I feel that you've crossed the line YouTube atheist, you won't let it go, you won't leave me alone you won't let me get on and do my scholarly videos on atheism uh, and in the end I just can't take it so I'm leaving because of you, no plum 99 I'm not going to make any videos on this channel again and I'm not going to go and get involved with atheism on YouTube because of making any videos because of the intimidation and the lack of intellectual honesty and the uh, abusiveness that you atheists keep doing to me <coughs> what's my proof? here's my proof <coughs> here's my proof um, no Plum 99, the guy I'm talking about. I said to him, but the last six months you've gone down the drama queen YouTube eight in his path. He said, this is bullshit, Jason. And he puts the video here and he says, Pastor Jerry was another one like yourself and Piper here who, as Calvinists, believe this line that God predestined certain people to go to hell. Now, I've just absolutely had enough with these YouTube atheists, right? I offered, <clears throat> let me see if I can find it. Here he is. <clears throat> also, you say Piper informs us. What do you know about Piper, bro? What do you know? You know nothing about Piper. You've not even read his book, Desiring God. I give you a challenge. If you are intellectually honest, agree to a live Skype conversation with me. A few atheists and theists, let it, let's sit round sharing our thoughts for an evening on Piper. This whole controversy is about John Piper. On Piper's book, Desiring God. And in four weeks' time, we can meet and share our honest thoughts with respect. Balls in your court only agree if you want to be intellectually honest. So I give him an opportunity to have an academic debate and discussion with atheist and <coughs> theist about John Piper's book because he's uh, rammed John Piper and I felt he'd been unjust to him and <coughs> unfair and I felt that, that it would be good to have a scholarly discussion and debate. The guy accuses me <coughs> of... Uh, being ill when I'm not ill I'm well uh, I wasn't my best the last two years everybody knows that but I am well I'm fine I'm happy he lays into me there he lays into me swearing under my channel and then he goes and says this <clears throat> he goes and says but the last six months you've gone down the drama queen this is I said to him he said this is bullshit Jason then he gives a video, and then he said, Pastor Jerry was another one, i.e. like me, like yourself and Piper, 
here who as Calvinists believe this line that God predestinates certain people to go to hell so he's accusing me of having the same beliefs as Pastor Jerry and I've said I'm a Calvinist but he doesn't realize they're a different Calvinist I'm from the Charles Simeon line of Calvinism which is different from um, John Piper's Calvinism all right so he's assuming that all Calvinists are the same and so he's comparing me to Pastor Jerry so he's comparing me to this guy here okay this is Nopal 99 the atheist and this is what he says about this Pastor Jerry you know no matter what you do in life you could be a gymnast or an athlete or, or whatever you need to be fit <coughs> for what you're doing and, and you know making videos on YouTube is no different it can take it out of you you've got to get those facial muscles in good tone uh, to be able to get through some of the longer videos. One of the things I recommend for that actually is, is some of Pastor Jerry's videos. Uh, take a look. Joking aside, Pastor Jerry is really quite a remarkable person. More remarkable than you actually <coughs> probably realise. Um, you know, they used to say, before I was born, people a bit older than me, they used to say everybody knew where they were when JFK was shot because it was such a significant event. Perhaps a more recent kind of version of that would be that the World Trade Center, when the planes flew into the World Trade Center, everybody knows where they were when they first heard that news. You know, imagine if Imagine if God actually actually revealed himself to you. Imagine if God actually spoke to you. I mean, if it, if it <coughs> happened, if something that incredible happened, I think you probably remember when it happened, don't you? Well, Pastor Jerry, Pastor Jerry is, is just such an amazing person. Well, <laughs> have a look at this clip. The Lord revealed to me earlier this week, possibly last week, I can't remember the exact day, I know it was in the morning time. <laughs> I think that's got to be one of the most remarkable clips uh, I've ever seen. Um, how 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 some how can God speak to you? <laughs> you can't even remember what day it happened. Um, it, it makes it, well, it just makes you wonder, doesn't it? Um, the last thing is to stop there. Uh, Pastor Jerry has a very serious message that he makes in this video, and in my view, it's a very sinister, very selfish, and very wicked message. That he makes. So let's get on to the serious stuff now. Uh, back to Pastor Jerry. I want to read to you from John chapter 15, verse 16. Jesus said, You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go bear fruit, and that your fruit should remain. That whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you these things I command you that you love one another. Love is a commandment of God. And this might be a news flash to you, but Jesus just said, you didn't choose me, but I chose you. Praise God for being part of the chosen ones, the ones that Jesus selected, the ones that he had picked out. See, Pastor Jerry is very happy and very smug about being one of Jesus' chosen few. Because this is what Pastor Jerry believes, that, that we don't... <coughs> so, let's, uh, you're a reasonable guy, no plum. You're pretty reasonable. Let's just look at the reason and logic. You make an attack on John Piper and laugh and mock him, right? And I take offence of that because I didn't realise, looking back now at the video, what you did, I didn't realise how horrible it was, the way you treated him, and the way you were laughing and mocking uh, towards a subject that's really precious towards Christians. <coughs> I was deeply offended by that. I make a video and then you come on and you make some comments <coughs> and then 
you, you swore under my channel you <clears throat> start saying that I'm, I'm not well um, which is nothing to do with the issue you start um, comparing me to this pastor, Pastor Jerry mate and all the time uh, all I ever did was just offer you an opportunity to meet with atheist and theist to talk about John Piper's book Desiring God Piper's key book Piper's key book you can't understand John Piper unless you've read this book okay this is one of his key books you can get it for free on his channel Desiring God and I offered a challenge to you instead of us getting personal let's have a read of this book on live Skype and discuss and talk this book about this book and you can get it live you can get it free at Desiring God Ministries website you can download it for free you refuse that instead you went to insult me and you compared my theology to this pastor Jerry whose theology is not my theology and you compared me to, jo to John Piper you made a classic mistake when I said us Calvinists regard John, uh, John Piper with great respect you made the classic mistake of thinking all Calvinists are the same I don't agree fully with John Piper's Calvinism so you uh, have put me in the bag of a John Piper and this Pastor Jerry but you never gave me the opportunity to meet with you and to discuss this book and to see what we thought about it and you would have found that in some places I would have agreed with him and some places I'd, I would have disagreed with him but I'm leaving Atheist Examined because of you no Plum 99 because you're not a person of substance you're just a person who goes around attacking Christians and not allowing them to answer and give a proper intellectual defense of the position you judge my position without having a proper theological discussion about it and I'm not going to take that abuse from you or from your atheist colleagues whether it be Aaron Ra, Non-Stamp Collector, DPR Jones, Negation of P, Live Life Bionic Dance, Coffee with Claire, and it goes on and on and on. King Crocoduck, etc. I'm not going to take the abuse anymore. I'm a better man than that. I'm trained in theology, I'm trained in theological discussion, and I'm not taking it no more. So I'm leaving YouTube atheism. I'm not doing anything on Atheist Examined. Okay? So, take care. I would call this No Plum 99 and uh, John Piper Gate. <laughs> All right. That's it, I'm finished. I'm not coming back on this channel ever. I'm not getting involved with the atheist again. I'm going to be on other channels um, just doing my thing. But I, I, I just want to, I don't want to be involved with you, atheist. Um, apart from one or two friends that I've got to know, John, you know who you are, John, one or two others, you know, I'll still be in contact with you and I'm willing to dialogue with you, but uh, generally speaking, I've had it with the YouTube atheism because you're abusive, you're anti-democratic, you're anti-intellectual and you will not give people the right to answer. You condemn me as being part of the same as this Pastor Jerry and yet you were offered an opportunity for theological discussion and you never did that instead you categorized me with someone else without giving me the opportunity to give an answer in an open discussion and forum and I've had it I'm sorry so that's it I'm finished no poem 99 end of alright so I hope you're happy of the great intellectual prowess that you have and the stimulating thought and intellectual discussion that you've inspired.